Javed Miadad, the Pakistan captain, patrolling the covers. And it's really a pity that this is not the fourth, but the fifth day of this test match. Some vital time lost in this test match. Otherwise, it would have been quite an exciting contest. Bowler's back drive, and that will go to the long on boundary for four runs. Very well-timed stroke. Drifting slightly into the batsman and Gooch on the front foot. Flight it, Gooch got himself in a perfect position and drove beautifully for four runs. And that's a very good start for England, 38 for no wicket. Gooch goes to 24. <coughs> Against the West Indies on this ground last year, when West Indies was scheduled out for 53. And that's through Javed Miadad, very powerfully struck, cut off by Mudassir, and Gooch comes back for the second. 40. Well, there's hardly any fielder close to the bat on onside. That ball turned, turned viciously, the perfect leg break from Abdul Qadir, beautifully bowled. Very good delivery indeed. The onside field. The jar's really charging in to prevent any runs. Gooch 28, Broad is 13. <coughs> Upish, but safely enough. The fielder was hovering near the boundary line, Ijaz. Well, that was a different bowling action altogether. His left arm quite high. Well, he took that chance because there was hardly anybody close to the wicket. Why do you think he's doing that? I just don't know, really. He's not sort of restricted in his movements. Probably it's one of the reasons because of his the back pain he had. Something to do with it because it's difficult to bowl a googly. And he hasn't bowled one this morning. And he has he have bowled a few, but mostly we have seen he bowls googly quite a lot and but in this particular match we have seen bowling leg break a lot and beaten there and he's gone so that's the first breakthrough for Pakistan And Kadir amongst the wickets, England 47 for the loss of one wicket, Broad goes. Well, that's stumping, really. And his back foot was in the air yep. at the point the uh, he took the bales the, off. The bales were off. Yeah. So that's a very good effort from Ashraf and Kadir beating Broad in flight, Pakistan getting the first breakthrough, England 47 for the loss of one wicket and Chris brought the batsman out for 14. Watch that again. <coughs> Broad, beaten in flight, goes down the track. Well, he was out of the crease. And then he tries to drag his back foot back, lifts it. Yeah, Ashraf Ali collects it. Very nicely stumped. Very good stumping from 
Ashraf Ali. So breakthrough for Pakistan, which they needed badly. And, uh... and welcome back to the Iqbal Stadium. That's Bilathi. Just come in after Chris Broad was stumped by Ashraf off the bowling of Kader. That's a good wicket to get. That's the dismissal. Let's see. Dismissal of Chris Broad. Went out of his crease, beaten the flight, and Ashraf Fali whipping the bales off while Chris Broad's foot was in the air. Getting ready to bowl his seventh over. Didn't quite intend that one to go in that direction. And uh, that's two runs. Out cricket this morning in Pakistan, and not been of the highest order. Forty nine for one, batsman out is broad for fourteen. You stump by Ashraf of Kadir. Should be two in that, quite comfortably. So, uh, no doubt about the intentions of Graham Gould, she's going to get on with it. And uh, one feels the same is the key to this uh, England batting this morning. Yes, uh, here's a replay of that on drive. Bit uppish, but there was no field. Uh, Short mid. Should be leg by in it. They take the second one. That's going to be close. But he made good his ground. Taking a fair amount of risk, the batsman there for that second run, but they made it. Down the leg side of Belathis Pan. Ramiz from deep fine leg charging in. Belathi safely home. Driven a little uppishly. Take one and they take the second quite comfortably. Slight uh, fumbling there by Tosif. Gooch goes on to 35. So Graham Gooch hitting Mudassa over the top of extra cover fielder and Tosif fumbling a bit. So Pakistan ने 191 और इंग्लैंड ने पहले इनिंग में 292 बनाए थे, जिससे 101 रन्स की सबकत हासिल हुई थी। पहले इनिंग्स के स्कोर बहुत अच्छी गेंद कादर की। थोड़ी सी फ्लाइटेड बॉल थी, मिडल और लेग पे बॉल गिरी और स्पिन हुआ बॉल और ऊंचा भी आया, बिलाथी बीट हुए। Flipper, like in leg stump ke bahar, aur bahut tezi se ball andar ki taraf aayi. Dekhiye, leg stump se bahar ball thi. Bilathi late huye stroke khelne mein, isliye pad pe ball lagi. Bahut acha ball tha. Unchi short, like in Mehfooz. और चार रन। फ्लाइट एंड डिलीवरी थी कादर की, इसलिए के डीप एक्स रिकवर पे कोई फील्डर नहीं। बिलाथी ने अगले पांव पे 
बॉल पर नजर रखते हुए एक्स्ट्रा कवर के ऊपर से ये स्ट्रोक खेला मजमु स्कोर सत्तावन एक खिलाड़ी आउट फिर ड्राइव किया लेकिन रमीज मौजूद हैं कोई इजाफा नहीं वो मुल्क जो उस वक्त टेस्ट मैच ना खेल रहा हो उस मुल्क के अंपायरों को दावत दी जाए ताकि ये मसला तय पा सके बिला थी बैकफुट पे स्क्वायर कट खेलना चाह रहे थे बॉल थोड़ी सी नीचे रही जिस वजह से एक्स्ट्रा कवर की तरफ खेली गई और आमिर मलिक जो के सिली में ऑफ पे रहे हैं उनके की टांग पे स्वीप करने की कोशिश की और अच्छी फील्डिंग सलीम मलिक की तीन रन का इजाफा तीन रन से एथी का स्कोर दस अंपायर खेजर ने दोनों बैट्समैन ग्रेम गूच और बेल एथी से कहा है कि वो विकेट के अंदर नहीं भागे और स्वीप चारण अच्छा बॉल था ये कादर का फ्लाइट एड डिलीवरी लेकिन ग्रेम गूच जो कि स्वीप शॉट बहुत अच्छा खेलते हैं थोड़ी सी ऊंची स्ट्रोक थी लेकिन वहाँ पे कोई फील्ड नहीं था ये इंग्लैंड के लिए बहुत अच्छी और सेंसिफाइन खेला है कोई फील्डर वहाँ मौजूद नहीं दी फाइन लेग पर चार रन के लिए फ्लिक किया इसे ग्रेम गूस ने बहुत ही फाइन तेज बॉल थी कादर की जरा सी लेग स्टम्प पे थी पाकिस्तान को ग्रेम गूस के लिए कुछ थोड़ा सा प्रेशर और डालना पड़ेगा कादर जो दुनिया के माने हुए लेग स्पिन बॉलर हैं उन्हें चाहिए कि ग्रेम गूस पे थोड़ा सा प्रेशर और डालें एक रन का और इजाफा पचहत्तर मजमी स्कोर एक खिलाड़ी आउट इस स्टम्पिंग की जिससे उन्होंने आउट किया स्टंप आउट किया क्रिस ब्रॉड को बॉल मुदसर की लेग स्टंप पे थी गूच उसे मिड विकेट ऊपर से खेलना चाहते थे कामयाब नहीं हो सके और पैड पे बॉल लगी उनके ग्रेम गूच एक दफे फिर मुदसर की बॉल को मेडॉन के ऊपर से खेलना चाह रहे थे और शुएब वहां पे खड़े थे कैच की अच्छी कोशिश थी शुएब की देखिए बॉल सही तरह मेडल नहीं हुई जंप किया शुएब ने और बॉल उनके हाथ पे लग के उनके सामने गिरी दूसरे अटेम्प्ट में कैच हो सकता था लेकिन काफी अनलकी रहे
बहुत अच्छी ट्राई थी कैच की दूसरा चांस है जो बूच को मिला है और आज के दिन में चौरासी ओवर होने हैं रमीज एक रन लॉन्ग लेग से भागते हुए आए बहुत अच्छा थ्रो ठीक तो तरीके से नहीं खेल सके लेकिन दो रन बनाने में कामयाब होंगे मुदस्सर हैं पॉइंट पर डीप पॉइंट बाउंड्री पर फ्लाइटेड डिलीवरी थी कादिर की ऑफ्रम के बाहर जिसे आई थी एक्स्ट्रा कवर्स के ऊपर से खेलना चाह रहे थे लेकिन बॉल में बॉल स्पिन हुई इस वजह से बल्ले के बाहर के हिस्से पे लगती हुई मुदसर की जानब गई जो कि डीप पॉइंट पे फील्ड कर रहे हैं एक रन का और इजाफा तोसीफ हैं फील्डर मैदान पर एक रन के इजाफे से एथी चौदह और मजमू स्कोर अस्सी एक सौ इक्यासी की बढ़तरी यह सब कथ हासिल है इस वक्त और नौ विकेट बाकी हैं कादिर गेंद करेंगे गूच को और ऑन साइड पर गूच के लिए पूरा मैदान खाली है सिर्फ डीप फील्डर्स हैं बाउंड्री पर उसको फिर खेल दिया है डीप फाइन लेग की तरफ कोई मौका नहीं सलीम मलिक के लिए और चार रन फील्डिंग में कुछ तब्दीली की जरूरत है कादिर के लिए चार रन के इजाफे से वो एक रन चाहिए अपनी निस सेंचुरी मुकम्मल करने के लिए गूज के लिए कादिर ने ऑन साइड पे क्लोज इन फील्डर कोई भी नहीं रखा बहुत बड़ा गैप है और इस मरतबा गूज को बिल्कुल मालूम नहीं हुआ ठीक नहीं खेले लेकिन डीप थर्ड मैन की जानब गेंद गया शुएब है वहाँ और गूज की निस सेंचुरी मुकम्मल हुई और ये उनकी टेस्ट क्रिकेट में बाईसवीं निस सेंचुरी है बहुत ही अच्छी बैटिंग की ग्रेम गूज ने एक मरतबा फिर अच्छी खासी फॉर्म में है ग्रेम गूज और पाकिस्तान के लिए ये खतरनाक साबित हो सकते हैं शुएब बैकवर्ड पॉइंट पर Mudassir has been kept going for the duration of the England innings today and he's getting ready to bowl his 11th over no wickets for 26 forces that one through the covers Tosif at deep extra cover on the boundary line Gooch coming back for his second 50 Well it did get a touch on to it. He goes to 57. As he cuts and he could be in trouble. But instead as he is going to go for an extra run there. It's certainly confusion between the two batsmen. Athe cutting that one down it was Gooch's call and Athe failing to move from his crease swings it to wide mid wicket 
Gooch plays with a lot of freedom, particularly with the strokes on the leg side. And England go on to 95 for the loss of one wicket. Gooch 58, Belathe 16. Once again, umpire Hezar Hayat having a word with the English batsman about running on the wicket. Forty-eight runs have been put on by Athi and Gooch. Hits it to Mudassir. And they're coming back for the second, and that's the 50 of the partnership. Fine batting by Gooch and Athi. England lost their only wicket at 47. And Gooch, in the meantime, has got through his 26. 64 overs will have to be bowled before the start of the mandatory overs. 20 overs in the last hour. Dossif has had to do a fair amount of fielding in the deep, but no bowling. And that brings up the 100 for England. That's Dossif. Got one wicket in the first innings. England 101 for the loss of one wicket. England 101 for the loss of one wicket. Gooch progressing to 60. Both the England batsmen, the England opening batsmen, Broad and Gooch, getting runs in this test match. <coughs> Gooch, who was out for 28 in the first innings is presently 60 not out. Dorsif now coming down to the long off area. And Mudassir starting his 12th over. No wickets for 31. Fluently struck. Singles have been coming quite easily with uh, a defensive field arrangement. Mudassir bowling without a slip. Ashraf Ali standing up to Mudassir. That threw him and he's bowled. That ball came into the batsman and a very good breakthrough from Mudassir. Playing on the front foot, beaten there by the movement of the wicket and as he goes for 20. England 102 for the loss of two wickets. It's the replay of that delivery. Mudassir going wide, the crease, bringing the ball into the right-hander and hitting the stumps. Athe trying to get on with the things. The orders must have been to put in the acceleration. Succeeded to a certain extent. Wider the crease, angling the ball into the batsman. The off stump shakes, the bales go off. And Ashraf Ali behind the stumps quite jubilant. Fifty-five runs partnership. And out comes the England captain, Mike Gatting. Played a superb innings of 79 in the first innings. Really got on top of the Pakistan bowling. He's by temperament a very aggressive batsman. Very hard hitting and just the sort of situation for him to try and exploit. Athi's dismissal again. Through Going the through gate. the gate, yes. He was trying to play it on the... This is how Mudassir got his 55th wicket in Test cricket.
Now they've got short mid wicket in for Graham Gooch because he's been trying to sweep the ball from outside the off stump. There was a big gap there. It's up in the air and he could be out. And the ball falling just in front of Amir Malik, running back, perhaps deceived in the air, but that wasn't a very convincing stroke from Gooch. Lucky morning there for Graham Gooch. Sweeps it. Salim Malik. And they come back for two more runs. 65 to Graham Gooch. Chancing his bat about. That's a sweep shot. I thought Amir Malik was a bit too slow in moving back. One gets the impression that he prefers fielding close to the wicket <laughs> rather than in the outfield. Appeal for LBW. Hitting Graham Gooch on his front foot. That was. Mike Gatting playing his 60th test match for England. Straight back into the hands of Qasim, well fielded. Very nearly 12 noon. Gooch swinging that one to in the air and Amir Malik a little slow to react and quite off balanced as he tries to take that catch and a reprieve for Graham Gooch. And that's lunch here at the Iqbal Stadium here on the final day of the second test match. Gooch coming back undefeated after two hours of batting. He's 65 not out. Gatting hasn't scored. England 106 for the loss of two wickets. The bats went out this morning. And Pakistan getting the second wicket this morning. 106 for the loss of two wickets. England's overall lead is 207. They have eight wickets in hand. Gooch is 65. Gatting hasn't scored and we are returning you to the studios.